All in. And away they go. Let's see who goes to the front right now. At the moment, as they go towards the 14, that's Diesel Shadow, who's gone to the lead. Moolah Man is on its inside, just a little headstrong, in the second position. After that, uh, back in the third spot, as French Impact is at the rail, Napoleon is outside of the group and a couple from the leader. Then it's Vesuvio further back in the field, an elusive swan five off them. Player, nothing else matters in the cheek pieces back second last. And Turbo Power is going to come from the back of the field, seven lengths off the leader. So they have switched off here as they move now through the 1200 meter area. And that's Diesel Shadow who is in front from Moolah Man in second. French Impact is back in third. Napoleon is behind that in the fourth spot, a four lengths off the leader. Elusive Swan is racing behind them. Then it's Vesuvio, player, nothing else matters. And Turbo Power is content to be at the back and about five off the leader. So they've come through the strip. They've got 600 to go. Moolah Man looks to move alongside of Diesel Shadow. French Impact occupies the rail. Elusive Swan behind that. Napoleon two off the leader, player to the inside Vesuvio turbo power four to go and nothing else matters got five lengths to make up diesel shadow in the middle moolah man french impact player after that napoleon they still got three to four to go elusive power behind it's player who's come through on the inside to pick it up into the closing stages vesuvio's on the stands it's player down the inside with a hundred meters to go and players picked it up he's going to win here player by a couple of lengths vesuvio behind that maybe moolah man back in third and french impact didn't really kick on. The pace did appear to be fairly moderate, I thought, as they turned for home. Player down towards the inside. He's picked up the action over there as player and charges home and takes off, does this five-year-old Toreador. And, uh, well, he's likely raced. This is only his eighth start as a five-year-old, and he's come through to win this handicap at the 75 level. What's that on the tote? Let me have a quick look. It's returning 10 rand at the moment. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. Good to be back in the winner's box. And I thought a great ride from Phyllis Sunday and Trolley. Well done to Candace Dawson. Well done to Gary Player, uh, to R.A. Berg and Larry Nestat. Good to have Tammy at the races today. It's not often that you see the sisters at the course together. And uh, the horses always look a million dollars. I thought a good ride from you, Phyllis Sunday. Uh, just quickly, um, a few viewers first race uh, well back that horse um, phantom express moved into the straight nice enough um, what sort of feel did it give you yeah 100 percent. so you know i think that Philly, she just needed the run because she moved up very well like a winner she just sort of getting tired at the, the last bit but i think she just needed the run all right and probably over a bit further as well yeah i think so too because she, she has a long stride but i think she'll definitely go further Philosander, let's go back to this race because in the first part of the race, it looked like there was a lot of stop starts. Um, some of the jocks did very well to stay on top of their horses. I talk in particular of Siandas or Sibo on French Impact, who we know pulls. What sort of feel did player give you today? Because I thought he won a good race. Yeah, I think he's a lovely horse. Uh, the aim was to get him covered, so I, I couldn't bounce him out, so I, I had to, to cover him because he can be a bit aggressive. Uh, the pace was was a bit slow. He was pulling a little bit, but I was I tried to get him to settle. He, eventually, he came back to me, and I was cruising. Coming into the straight, he was just cruising. And then, obviously, for a good bunch of owners, so you'll know Gary Player very well, and um, you'll be watching, I'm sure. Uh, just quickly, if you go back, and Nico's pointed it out, Philosander, this horse has beaten Eye of the Prophet once upon a time, giving him weight. Yeah, 100%. That's what I was saying in the beginning. He's, he's, a, he's a, such a nice horse. I think he's, there's still more to come on him because he gave me a good feel today. He won a very nice race. I need to pick your brain. You've got Quiet Rebellion, Bloomington, and Trentino. Which is your next best? Mm, I think uh, Quiet Rebellion and the Trentino. Okay, and Bloomington, back on his favorite track? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just a bit worried about the draw in Bloomington, but we'll try our best. All right, well handled over here, Phyllis Sunday. Thank you so much. I just want to thank to Miss Dawson for giving me the great opportunity, and also well done to the team back at home. And also thanks to the owners involved as well. Thanks to my sponsor, Stone Stamp, Mr. Ackerman. Thank you, Congratulations. sir. Congratulations. Well done, Phyllis Sunday. Good man, good jockey. He's certainly rising at a rate of knots. Well done, Cairns. Good to see you. Um, Nico pointed this one out, 33 to 1. I think you would have just been happy to see him running 
on, but a, a win's a bonus. 100%, Brandon. You know, first of all, I need to say a very big well done to um, Larry, Mr. Player, and uh, Mr. Berg. You know, they they were very patient with him. You know, when he came first time out the Maidens and he beat Eye of the Prophets, obviously it wasn't a much lower division, but uh, he just, he, you know, we always had a lot of faith in this horse or uh, thought he would go somewhere. And um, he obviously injured himself in his last start. And then we gelded him, put him away, and um, it's just so nice to see him come back to the course. And hopefully he pulls up sound and we can crack on from here. You know, uh, just a huge big well done to my sister, to the farriers, physios, vets, everybody that's worked with this horse, to the grooms. You know, just I've got to just say well done to all of them. And hopefully he can start um, improving from here. Well, Ken, it's not often that we see you and Tammy at the course today, so I should have known business is here. Um, just quickly, Captain of Grit, raise a hallelujah, just be nice. What are you expecting? Uh, Captain of Grit's doing really well at home. He's a big, burly boy, but um, he's doing well. He's got the weight. He's got the draw in his favor. Um, so hoping he can be competitive today. And then uh, raise a hallelujah. You know, he's he's fresh and well, and he's... He's run a few good, uh, nice places over shorter. Obviously, this is a race to bring him on for his um, staying campaign later on in the season. So, you know, just hoping from a solid run from him and um, just be nice. I think you can put a line through a last start. She's working much better again now and just hoping for a much better effort today. How did Hubby pull up after Friday the 13th? <laughs> Shame. That was a harsh one for him. But luckily he got there safe and he's back. Uh, well, he's actually back in Cape Town today. Hopefully tonight be back in yeah. with you, Cans. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. There we go. That's Candace Dawson. Lovely to see Candace and Tammy, who's behind the camera, doing a wonderful job as always. Horses always look a million bucks. And a last word from the groom. Come a little bit closer to me, please, sir. Um, congratulations to you. I thought this horse looked in particular very well. Yes, it's very, very good. Super. There we go. There's 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting, and uh, they'll be happy with that. Player goes on to win a great race this afternoon. Uh, thanks to everybody that's come down and helped with these proceedings. We'll go back to the studio any moment now as our live racing continues at Hollywood Bets Durbanville as well. I think he's a horse that's going to go on from you. I like the way he moved into the race. Phila Sunday and Trolli, supremely confident going through the last 300 metres. And he's quickened up nicely to become a three-time winner from eight starts.